Hey guys, it's Damien BK, and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 on the PC. This is a 60 plus game. Uh, it was laying around on my hard drive and I thought I would use it for this commentary. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about, I haven't really got a subject. Uh, but I thought I would start off with talking about the Road to Commander uh, and where I feel that has gone. Uh, I, I do feel like that's run its course. I know we're nowhere near the end uh, in terms of ranking up and such, but that for me has just got really old and stale and I'm really I'm not up for doing something that I'm not enjoying uh, so I'll, I want to know what you guys think of the idea of me maybe just stopping that series uh, the problem I find with it is Black Ops 2 has been out a long time now and it's the, been my main Call of Duty uh, considering that Ghost isn't been a game that I'm, I'm, I'm remotely interested in because it just doesn't run well uh, so I've been playing it a lot and I, I, I'm sort of worn out on it in terms of ranking up. I don't mind playing the game. I really do enjoy playing the game with buddies and stuff and partying up. That's fun. But just ranking up, it's not really for me. I'm not enjoying it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stop to it. But I'm, I want to get some feedback. I want to know what you guys are, are interested in seeing. Uh, do you want to see the subscriber class setup videos back? Uh, do you want to see some random class generators? Do you want to see more of Combat Twins? Uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll uh, definitely have a look at it and take some feedback because this channel isn't just mine, it's ours and I, I want to know what you're, you're into and what you really want to watch essentially. So yeah, leave a comment down below in the comment section. So for the main subject of this video, I thought we'd talk about fanboyism uh, and really uh, the, the stupidity and the ignorance that comes with it. Uh, I simply left a comment on Drifter's video the other day and the, the backlash I got from uh, the subscribers on his channel was unbelievable. I simply left a comment talking about uh, Advanced Warfare and my hopes that the game is optimised right on PC uh, because I'm a PC gamer. Obviously I want the game to run well on everyone's console uh, but I, I primarily I want it to run well on PC because I'm a PC gamer, that's my, my platform. Uh, and the, the hate comments that, that came from people uh, after putting that down, the fanboyism, the console wars, I really thought console wars didn't exist anymore. I thought we were in that time period where it just didn't uh, exist. But I think what's happened is, as I've grown up and, and matured, so have most of the people I know. So they're outset and their mindset on the situation has changed. So a lot of people I know that were douchebags that I don't really talk to anymore, to be honest, uh, they they have a different mindset and they don't really uh, have a, a console war issue uh, because they've grown up and realised how stupid it is. It's really quite funny going through some of the comments that were left on my comment on Drifter's video where people are saying um, basically the Xbox or the, the PlayStation rules over PC, um, PC sucks and so on and so forth, but they really don't have a clue about the PC. they You can really tell from the comments they're uneducated on the, the PC environment and they, they really don't understand uh, where Call of Duty really started. Call of Duty was a PC game at first and then it went to consoles and that was probably the best thing for the franchise. You wouldn't have the franchise you have now if it was a, a PC exclusive so I'm pretty glad for that. Um, so yeah, it's just pretty funny reading through the comments and people having fanboy arguments when they really never experienced another platform. Um, going from PlayStation to uh, Xbox, to be honest, there probably isn't much difference, and I, I can't really say too much because I have never played on a, a, a PlayStation uh, 3 or 4 in this current time. I had the PlayStation 2 years ago, like everyone would of my age, uh, but I've never played on the PlayStation uh, 3, so I, I would imagine going from the PlayStation 3 to Xbox is quite similar. I would imagine. Um, it might be completely different, but I would imagine because they're, they're consoles at the end of the day. Uh, but I don't really feel like that war should exist because they're, they're the consoles. Uh, that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong, like I said, I've never had that uh, platform. But I don't get it when people have arguments and, and say consoles are better than PC when they've never been on a PC, they've never experienced it. And you can really tell with some of the comments because some of them are, are later on after speaking to them, a comment and saying, um, like basically simple things like when did the the first COD come on PC and so on and they're the ones that are antagonizing people and having arguments and you just feel like why why even start that argument for the sake of argument why do people have the mentality of arguments 
Uh, and I do believe it's purely because on the internet you're sort of uh, an invisible face. Uh, there's, there's, you're not really yourself, you're this persona. And uh, I do feel like people hide behind that. And they just start arguments for the sake of it. I do feel like as well a lot of it is kids. Um, so do they grow out of it? Because I, I don't do it. Everyone I know has grown up out of it, like I've said. So is it just a child thing? Um, because I, I, I it does just come over as an ignorant thing, and I'm not saying ignorant to be horrible. That's the true meaning of it. You really you don't have any knowledge on the situation or the the thing that you're talking about. It just seems very ignorant. I'm ignorant on the, the PlayStation, like I said. So um, yeah, just drop the the fanboys, and we don't care. We all play games for fun. Who cares? Game on. You, you're on your platform for the reason you're on your platform. Could be any reason, but you're on the one uh, platform that you're on because it suits you best. I'm on PC because it suits me best. I get the games relatively cheap, yeah, but I put a huge cost into my PC. Uh, but I, I get what I want out of it. It's the, the same on console. When I played on console, I got um, convenience out of my, my Xbox. The games generally cost a little bit more than they do on PC, I've found out of my experience. Um, but you get the convenience that comes with a console. You literally press a button, power it on, and you're running. And you're in game within seconds. PC, I have to boot up the PC and uh, load the game up. And there can be all sorts of problems. You can have crashes and, yeah, just the list can go on with PC. Uh, there's pros and cons to, to all platforms. But who cares? Play what you want to play. Drop the act. No one cares. Uh, if you really do care, you're, I think you're too much of brand loyalty is coming through. Um, there's there's liking a brand, but then there's being like brand police, and I, I think that goes a bit too far as well. Um, it just you just come over as a complete idiot half the time, uh, and a lot of people can't really explain why they have like the the brand loyalty that they do. Um, so it's it's pretty funny to to watch that on YouTube. I think a lot of people are quite ignorant. Uh, and they're just out to really start a war for no reason. So we're coming to the end of the video, and I'm really quite interested in hearing your opinions on this subject. Uh, leave your comments down below. Don't be fanboy crazy, uh, but you can have brand love. Um, but just don't jam it down people's throats if they disagree with you in the comments. At the end of the day, we all get what we want, like I've said. I'm also interested to hear what uh, videos you want to see on the channel. Do you want to see uh, the subscriber class set up? Uh, more combat twins? Uh, and just do you want to see maybe like top five sort of things I was thinking I might do like a, a top five of my uh, best weapons in Call of Duty history and, and that could be all the Call of Duties uh, I'm not too sure let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see what I can do anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video this was quite a beastie gameplay um, I did enjoy this uh, I do remember it now and I think I fell in the lava at some point but I can't really remember so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one later